Hi, this is Tom Malloy. I've raised over $25 million for financing movies. I've produced at the time of this video 17 films, I've written 30 plus screenplays, options sold or made to movies, 25 of those screenplays, and I've starred a bunch of movies. So I'm an encyclopedia on filmmaking. Uh, I wanted to talk today about making a movie poster for your film. Now, this is something where, from the start, if you don't do this right, you can be looked at as amateur. It's truly a judging a book by its cover. Um, I have been in meetings with filmmakers at sales markets where they'll s slide over a one sheet of their film and I'll look and I'll see the movie poster cover and I'll go, oh no. You know, and what I'm getting at is that if it's unprofessional, people judge that book by its cover right there because it's like, well, if the poster doesn't look any good, how is the film gonna look good? I mean, at the end of the day, it's really, very similar you're creating some type of art and that's what you're doing on camera so be very careful with this now there are some people that just truly have kind of no clue and they'll just put you know a word document they'll put a fancy font and they'll put word art or something like that and they'll put the name of their movie um and that's really bad but then there's kind of that middle ground where somebody may have some photoshop skills or something like that and they're able to make some layer styles on the font and drop some shadows or something like that but at the end of the day you have that that poster that that one sheet that you've made and it still looks unprofessional that's almost more of a mistake because you think it looks good you're showing it to people and maybe family and friends are like oh you know it looks good you don't want to do that there's truly a difference that people can kind of almost subconsciously see when they see a real movie poster and so really you need a real designer unless you're some kind of photoshop artist and i have had debates with people i had a director friend that was showing me the is this movie poster that he put together and he wanted to do it himself and I said, well, what are you, what are you doing that for? <laughs> like, it's, it's that, you know, and he spent hours on it and it still wasn't the level that somebody professionally would do. So it's like, why wouldn't you just pay somebody else? Because this is something that years ago used to be extremely expensive. It's not expensive anymore. You can go to 99designs.com and, and that's 99designs.com and you could go on there and get somebody for $300 or even less to be able to put a movie poster together that's professional. Look at their reels um, and see their portfolios, what they've done. Another site is Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. You can go there and check out some people that do movie posters. This used to be a site where they would do gigs for $5 only, and so they were small little gigs and stuff like that. Now, there's all different types of prices, but you could probably get a great professional movie poster for $50 to $100. Why not do that, especially uh, take the time you know, off your plate and be able to get that time back to you doing something else for the film. Make a professional movie poster, truly, folks. It counts. Hey, you can grab a copy of my quick guide to film funding by using the link below.